welcome to How To IT Videos. Thank you for joining us today as we discuss Microsoft Access, a high level introduction to the program. This particular version of Access is the 2010 edition. Microsoft is a database and custom application building tool. Today we're going to take you on the basics on creating a new database and creating a new table in Access. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new database. Enter a good name that's relevant to what your database is focused on. Click Create. And we have our new database. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a table. Tables are the foundation of your database, and all table names should be very specific. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a table that's related to the database name, uh, which is the, the focus of this database, contacts. So I'm going to make a, a new table now. First thing I do is I click on the Create tab. Then from there I click on the Table design. Here I can go ahead and create a field. First thing I'm going to do is create an ID field. For the most part, most tables should have an ID field associated with the table. We're going to go with auto number. I'm going to create my next name here. Contact name. We're going to go contact first name. We're going to go with the text field. And we're going to do contact last name. Also a text field. We're going to save. We're going to go ahead and call this Contacts Table. Access is trying to encourage you to include a primary key. A primary key is an auto ID number that will seed and go from one number to the next or in any pattern that you, you program them to. Or in any pattern that works for your business. For the most part, most people just have ID numbers auto increment up by one each time a record is created. I'm going to cancel this. What I need to do with my ID number here is I need to make it the primary key. You can right click on the left tab there and you see the first option is primary key. It has a little icon of a little gold key. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now this is the primary key auto ID number for this table. And basically, the database as a whole is keeping track of these types of, of attributes that we're assigning to fields, especially uh, attributes like primary key. Let's save this again. And after we've saved that, the tables show up on the left hand nav bar there and you can see our new table is there, contacts table. There's a few different ways we can work with this left nav bar over here. At this point we're looking at tables. We could also look at queries, forms, reports, and any other type of object that Access will hold for you. So now we want to use this table. Uh, what we need to do here now is we're going to right click on this tab here that says Contacts Table. We're going to drop down into Data Sheet View. Click, and now what we see looks like one row of a spreadsheet similar to Excel. Um, some of the display is slightly off, so we can adjust these manually. And there we go, we're in there. So now we can add in customer 
contact first name, contact last name. Okay, so basically there we've added two new records, Kelly Slater and Jordy Smith. As you can see, each contact received an ID number. The ID number was automatically generated by Microsoft Access. So Kelly Slater is ID number one, Jordy Smith is ID number two. Microsoft Access 2010 does give you an easy option to create new fields on the fly from within the datasheet view. Usually best, especially in a multi-user environment, to always go into design view to make your changes and make sure that all users are off. But while you're testing it out and while you're using it locally, uh, you can go ahead and try some of these features. And Microsoft is a real-time application in the sense that as soon as you type something into a field, it becomes live. Um, sometimes, in, in some cases, you might have to hit the Enter button, the Tab button, or another button to lose focus from the field where you added a new value. But for, but for the most part, it's going to be saved. There's no reason to go ahead and hit the Save button or do a Control-S uh, to go ahead and work with that data. Uh, it's always a good idea from your start. Uh, I'd like to encourage you to back up your data, save your databases on a network share if you have one of those available. Uh, that's the best for multi-user use going forward. And it will also uh, allow you to, to back up it a little bit better. Thanks for joining How To IT videos today with this Microsoft Access presentation. And we encourage you to come back and look for further videos on Microsoft Access.